welcome to Everything Economics. We study microeconomics, macroeconomics, and every other type of economics here. Welcome back. Today, the chapter that we are going to study is production and growth. How can a country grow? And the book that we are following is Brief Principles of Macroeconomics, 5th edition by N. Gregory Menke. Production and Growth. This chapter is about productivity and standard of living. A country's standard of living depends on its ability to produce goods and services. Standard of living is the level of comfort, material goods, and necessities available to a person or group. The generally accepted measure of standard of living is real GDP per capita. First, we need to understand uh, what productivity is and what standard of living is because this chapter is about these two main concepts uh, well what what I mean is that productivity and standard of living they are interlinked so if there is more productivity then it will have a direct impact on standard of living so we need to understand what productivity is and what standard of living is first we will discuss standard of living a country's standard of living depends on its ability to produce goods and services. And the standard of living is the level of comfort, material goods and necessities available to a person or a group. Uh, this simply means that standard of living is uh, your, your uh, living standards, how comfortable you are, how many goods and services you have, whether you have necessities uh, to survive, whether you have food, whether you have clothes. Uh, or if you have a, pu a beautiful house or uh, a car. So if you have these things, if you have food, shelter, uh, clothes, car, a house, then your standard of living is relatively good. Uh, but if you don't have these things, then your standard of living is poor. It's, it's not really good. And uh, at macro level, uh, how do we measure this standard of living thing? I mean, uh, how, how can we find out what standard of living of a certain country or certain uh, group of people is? To measure standard of living, the most common measure is real GDP per capita. So real GDP per capita, we have already studied what GDP is. It's the, uh, uh, the market value of all final goods and services produced within the boundaries of a country, right? And real GDP it takes into account the inflation rate and when we divide real GDP by total population we get real GDP per capita how much real GDP is uh, available for each individual in a country so if a country's real GDP per capita is high then its standard of living would be higher and if a country's uh, real GDP per capita is low then its standard of living would be low so there is a direct link here and uh, the link that we are trying to understand here is that productivity here, this thing, has an impact on real GDP per capita. And real GDP per capita is linked to standard of living. We will understand this, uh, this cycle, this circle, and, uh, uh, but we need to understand the standard of living, the concept of standard of living first. So this is the condition of our world. There are countries which are rich which have industries and everything but there are other countries which are poor which do not have industries which do not have high real gdp per capita and uh, these countries i'm uh, mostly talking about uh, african and some asian countries and uh, some other poor countries all over the world and uh, the rich countries are mainly the uh, western countries and uh, where we have United States, which is very rich, its real GDP per capita is very high, so its standard of living is also super high. And uh, in the developing world, we have India, where real GDP per capita is low, and it's a poor country, the standard of living is also poor. Where we have Japan with high standard of living, we also have Zimbabwe with low standard of living. There are more, more than 200 countries in the world many of them have good standard of living but a lot of them also have very poor standard of living 
So a good standard of living country will have people who have food, shelter, car, house, and uh, most of the population. And uh, the poor uh, standard of living countries like India or Zimbabwe or other African nations, uh, they don't have high GDP per capita. And at the same time, due to that, their standard of living is also low. So they don't, um, majority of the population don't have a car, they don't have a house. Uh, I mean, even if they have a house, it's a mud house or it's not a good house. And at the same time, they don't have education. They are poor. I mean, here, this kind of represents how they are, this child. So even within a country, there are large changes in the standard of living over time. Uh, if we choose one country, United States, there are some people who are very rich there are some people who are very poor some people have a good, really good standard of living in united states some people in united states have a very poor standard of living that is also uh, that is also important to understand that even within a country some people have good standard of living some people have poor standard of living and uh, over uh, over a course of time when the countries develop when their gdp increases their real GDP per capita also improves. And when that improves, their standard of living increases and it improves. Because the country becomes rich, it has more money, it can afford, uh, afford more houses, more cars and everything, and people have more money. That way they can satisfy their needs and wants. Now let's move on, move on to productivity. So what productivity is? Productivity refers to the amount of goods and services produced for each hour of a worker's time. If there is a worker like this one working in a factory, if he produces, uh, if this worker is in uh, one country where he produces 10 of some goods uh, per hour and in another country, if the same worker produces two, then the productivity uh, per hour in, in the country where he's producing two is very low and uh, the same worker who is working in, an, in another, another country uh, if, he, if he's producing 10 of uh, uh, products per hour then his productivity is high. So productivity is just uh, a measure of how much goods and services of, uh, each worker produces in an hour. If a worker produces an hour, uh, an output of two units whose price is dollar ten each, then his productivity is twenty dollars. So if he's producing two units, and the price of each unit is ten dollars, so his productivity is twenty dollars. If a worker produces in an hour uh, of five units, whose price is ten dollar each, then his productivity is five into ten, fifty dollars. So. A nation's standard of living is determined by the productivity of its workers. If the, pro uh, the productivity is high, assume that if I'm talking about this country where the labor pro productivity is high and the workers are producing 10 goods and services per hour, so they will, uh, they will be producing more, they will be exporting more, they will, be, they will have a lot of goods and services in, the, in, in their country. And when they will have so many uh, goods and services in their country, their GDP will increase. When their GDP will increase, uh, the nation's standard of living is uh, will also increase. The higher the productivity, the higher the GDP. The higher the standard of living. See the link? If there is more productivity, this means that there will be higher GDP and then the GDP will be used to improve the standard of living of the overall population. All right, economic growth around the world. Here we are looking at living standards as me measured by real GDP per capita per person. It varies significantly among different nations. Uh, this simply shows that the living standards uh, from period 9 1890 to 2000 or 1900 to 2000, how countries uh, real GDP uh, increased or decreased and how much growth rate per year they experience during this time period. Real GDP per uh, person at beginning of the period was 1,256 in Japan. Today, real GDP per person, uh, not, not today, I mean in 2000, 
it is 26460 so the the growth rate per year the improvement in uh, gdp real gdp per capita per year was 2.81% over how many years 110 years you see 1890 to 2000 and similarly we can see for brazil real gdp per uh, person in 1900 was 650 and uh, in 2000 was 7320 there was a growth of 2.45% every year and we can see uh, for other countries as well how they improve their living standards using real uh, using uh, real gdp per per, uh, per person how to improve their uh, living standards here at the lower end we have pakistan and bangladesh for pakistan the real gdp per capita in 1900 was uh, 16 616 and uh, in 2000 it was 1960 that is 1.16% growth rate uh, per year uh, this simply shows the economic growth around the world through uh, around about for 110 years how they grew their real gdp per person that's all for uh, this part and uh, i hope you understood what one uh productivity is two standard of living three gdp per capita real gdp per capita and how these three are linked all right so i'll see you in the next part goodbye